guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to hop into the Gathering of the God of Destruction event. Uh, a lot of people wanted to see our boy Tech Majin Vegeta, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the event with him. Now, remember, there's a couple of factors here. Now, it's not guaranteed or free that we will get the Majin Vegeta transformation. Uh, we should be able to get it with at least one of the two of them. That's the main reason... I wanted to come in with the, uh, you know, Revive Warrior slash Super Saiyan 2 team that Vegeta leads, is that we could hopefully get one of the two Vegetas to transform. Now, the guard, I think, will actually give us some increased, like, uh, you know, like, like levels of defense against these God of Destruction bosses. The only thing um, is that I don't know how consistent it's going to be to get the six orbs for Vegeta to be able to guard, right? Um, I do think he should be able to tank just as long as, like, you know, because he gets defense on super attack. He should be able to tank just with that, but we'll see. I could have maybe also run him on the Boo Saga team or Vegeta family as well. I mean, if we ran him on the Vegeta family team with the Int Vegeta, Int Vegeta definitely could go type neutral. We just have to be a little bit cautious with him, right? And uh, putting him in front of too many hits. Um, and then we would be able to potentially get a lot of orbs for Majin Vegeta, but... I think this build right here should be pretty solid. Um, I'm not really too concerned. Yeah, that sucks, dude. Okay. Both Vegetas in turn two. Of course. Like, that's why, like, uh, you know. <sighs> okay. That's uh, whatever. Um, I guess. It, okay, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out of my way to try and get this Vegeta, these Vegeta transformations. Um... We need three orbs with both Vegetas, huh? Okay. All right, we should we, we should be good to go with that. The good news is that Vegeta's team... Like, I, I actually feel pretty good about this team, right? Because Vegeta himself is definitely strong. Um, you know, we have LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, who could definitely perform well in here. I mean, provided that he doesn't get, you know, absolutely destroyed. You know, we're not running him in slot one and stuff like that. I think it's Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. He could definitely put in work, right? Obviously, we could bring Tech Khalifa on every single run. Uh, Tech Golden Frieza will be fine defensively. Remember that our, our leader skill spread... Oh, nice. Wow, okay. I intentionally missed super attacks with this guy, and he's still doing this. All right. We'll see if we can even transform with Majin Vegeta. Hopefully, we can, because we're not going to be able to do it till a turn of, of turn four, because I got cucked. You know, that's, that's the way these videos typically go. Uh, all right. Um, oh, well. <laughs> oh, my God. Do I hate this, dude? All right. The friend is not full level 10 links. He's got higher defense. They have a defense. Okay. So mine has a level four defensive quip and the friend has a level five defensive quip. What a great turn. I, I, I would typically just restart. But, like, it's very annoying because you don't just find Majin Vegeta friends, right? This is, like, a long time of, of resetting. And, like, they, the, the, the order they gave me here is just, like, bullshit. Like, I, there's not, like I, I don't have, like, anything. I, I can't super attack with the Vegetas. Um, we're not going to be able to transform into Majin Vegeta, probably. We're just going to get clapped up. I mean, whatever. I, I guess I'm probably just going to have to cut and basically redo all this. Um, with... No, I'm just not even going to sue it. Whatever. Just do it. Whatever. It's frustrating. Okay, 35k right there. Um, now, remember, Vegeta gets defense with three orbs. He gets defense on super attack, right? Like, it's just... I mean, that was just bullshit. Like, just a, an absolute, like, bullshit opening rotation. Uh, both Vegeta's on turn two to make it very difficult to try and transform. Because, like... I, like, the, again, I, I'm not the biggest fan of the... Oh, we're, we're just that. No, okay, okay. I'm not the biggest fan of the transformation condition for the Goku and Vegeta because it's not consistent, right? Like, you know, you can do damage to bosses so rapidly nowadays, man. It's not that tough to just absolutely cream pie these bosses, right? Um, I'll do this. Hopefully Gohan doesn't, like, just start supering like crazy again. I am going to super with this Gohan because I do want him to stack up his defense. All right, let's see how we do. Ay, ay, ay. All right. <laughs> fun. Very, very fun. Uh, again, the God events, uh, a lot of it is like, you know, typing and stuff like that. Maybe I should have just ran the Boo Saga slash Battle of Wits team. 
Who would I run with Tech, though? I mean, with Tech Ultimate Gohan, you can't use Candy Vegito. You know who really would be good here with this Majin Vegeta is the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Um, you know, he gets his EZA next week on JP. He would be very, very good, I think, with potentially next to this Majin Vegeta. All right, so let's go ahead and see how we do. Um, I can already tell that this is a disaster. I, I, I'm probably, we're probably just gonna jump in halfway through this video into the Vegeta family team, because it's like, yeah, like I, like I'm able to build a nice defensive team, but we're just not gonna be super attacking at all with Vegeta, right? Um, because, like, Royal Lineage... Like, is there even another Vegeta we could have brought here? Like, th again, again, this is where a huge factor of, like, the God event is, like, other units with the same typing. Look at, like, a lot of these Tech Revived Warrior characters, right? Like, this Tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the 3 to play one, the Tech Super Saiyan Bardock. These characters are all just shit, right? You're not going to be able to run any of those characters, really. Um, I mean, we could... See, I don't like the idea of running the Super Saiyan 2 slash 3 Goku with Majin Vegeta either. Um, because, again, you want to go type advantage. I guess I'm just going to reset this. And we're going to go to a Vegeta family team instead. Because this is just not going to work. Right? Like, like that's it. This, this, just, this shit is just not going to work. What, what is Majin Vegeta looking like? 146k? Okay. Um... We could try Boo Saga as well, but again, like, Tech Ultimate Gohan doesn't work good with this Majin Vegeta, right? And, like, he's gonna be a staple. Um, in Gotenks, he does not have Prepare for Battle, right? He doesn't, so he's not gonna work good with this Majin Vegeta either. Like, all of the good Boo Saga units don't, like, like that we would run in here, like, they're not... Like, I don't want to run LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta type neutral. So it's like, that's the problem. It's just like, Vegeta... Do, like, the, the units we want to use to make Vegeta look good, uh, like, doesn't really work too well with this team. I think the Vegeta family team, led by... Yeah, dude, look at this. Like, just six orbs? I guess you're never getting that. We're gonna try the Vegeta family team. Led by Dokkan Fest GT Vegeta, uh, and, you know, slash GT Hero. Um, because we really need the orb changing for this Majin Vegeta, or else he just sucks. So, let's, uh, let's hop back in, I guess. Alright, so we'll hop back in like this with the GT Hero Team. The only thing is, if we don't get Vegeta in slot 1 or slot 7, which we didn't, we're not getting Majin Vegeta, so tough titties. Um, I... I'm not... I, the, the one thing, the reason I've never been the biggest fan of the Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and Goku is, like, again, there's so many factors into them, right? Like, their transformation condition, um, you know, getting the six orbs from Majin Vegeta. Like, if you can consistently get the six orbs from Majin Vegeta, like, yeah, you know, he, he can look fantastic. But if you're not getting those six orbs for him, uh, that boy is not looking fantastic. Um, here, let me do this. This is actually... I don't know. We could die here, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, we could definitely die on this rotation right here. Dude, I... Oh, God. Sometimes, like... Some units are just going to be very frustrating to try and bring into here. Because, like, there's very specific things we need to have happen, right? You know, orbs from Ajahn Vegeta. We need him to be on, you know, turn one or turn three or else he's not going to transform, right? Because by turn four, Champa's going to be way below 80% HP. You know, we don't get it. And then it just becomes frustrating. And it's like, I have to reload multiple times in order to even get a GT hero Vegeta lead. And then like, oh, oh, I, wow. Okay. He got his defense debuffed and he's still taking double digit damage afterwards. That's crazy. That's ve That was not my rainbow GT Vegeta. Oh my God, dude. The, the, those units, the GT Vegeta and the GT Goku, are so sick. That's type neutral. That's not a rainbow GT Vegeta either. If it was mine, sure. Uh, what is what is he? The friend GT Vegeta, 69%. Like, these units are so crazy. Not really link leveled. So nuts. Okay, um, I don't want to use an item. This is our first turn with Vegeta here. I don't want to use an item. So we're going to do this. We're not going to be able to get the Majin Vegeta transformation. I mean, dude, tough titties, right? Like, I don't don't, don't know what to tell you. Uh, basically, we've had three, like, Majin Vegetas so far in this run. And every single one of them has started out, like, uh, turn two, right? Um, 
because it's like, I don't... I mean, I guess I didn't need to give LR Evolution Blue Vegeta a lot of key spheres, right? We could, I could have maybe held back with him. Um, but the GT Vegeta, like, I've got to give them key spheres so that G GT Vegeta can be tanky, right? You know, I, I need the, the super attack with, like, Goten and Trunks. I need the super attack with Goten and Gohan, right? I, the, the Blue Vegeta. I brought the Blue Vegeta to create tech orbs. And, of course, he starts out in the other rotation, too. The God Event is a good place for you to get frustrated because, again, you have limited uh, attempts per day. And if you're not using one of these major teams, right, like, it's going to be difficult to be able to, um, like, like find the friend leads that you need, too. Oh, we're dead. Okay. So, I mean, this has just been a disaster of a video. I mean, you know, not every single God Event video is going to go perfectly. I guess we're going to get disasters like this to happen as well. But, I mean, this is more so that we had to bring a lot of, uh, you know, type neutral characters for this team, right? This GT Hero slash Vegeta family team. So, okay, I guess I'll be right back. Hopefully we can get Vegeta in either, you know, turn one or turn, like, like, basically I need Vegeta in slot one, two, three, or seven. Four, five, and six is really bad for transforming, but if we get one, two, three, or seven, we could definitely transform into Majin Vegeta. If we have a GT Dokkan Fest Vegeta round, we should be able to get that guard consistently. See, the thing is, if we get to Majin Vegeta, I do think he's going to be ultra tanky here. I think we'll get the six orbs consistently with GT Dokkan Fest Vegeta around, but it's not, like, even that easy to set up here in the God Event. Uh, the event is very, very tough. All right, so now uh, we got him turn one with the GT Vegeta. We should be good to go. Like, now we should be good to go. Okay, okay, okay. 112k defense is not honestly the craziest he does vegeta does get more defense though the less hp we have right which for the god event i think certainly can be good right there's gonna be a lot of situations where we have less hp um you know although with the three orbs right here which we're gonna get <clears throat> uh that is gonna have vegeta have a lot better defense like his defense is gonna be way better after he super attacks um, but the problem is, again, I do want to run him with GT Vegeta, the Dokkan Fest Vegeta, and we can't put Dokkan Fest Vegeta in slot 1 type neutral. That's not going to work, right? Um, so, again, I think Majin Vegeta is probably going to be around 200k-ish defense, if not higher, after he supers, which is good enough for the God Event for sure, right? Alright, GT Dokkan Fest Vegeta is good to go right there, and we can super attack with this Vegeta as well to give him the um, uh, uh, stack, the defensive stack as well. All right, so 37k, that's not great right there. But again, I mean, this Majin Vegeta, you do want to run him in slot two. Uh, well, I mean, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta wants to be in slot two, right? Because um, again, he, he gets 30% defense on his super attack effect. And then he's getting the 30% defensive buff uh, with three orbs on his attack, right? Um, now we should... We should be able to get the Majin Vegeta transformation, I think. Um, it, which, to make this guy really solid in here, I, I, I feel like I, you certainly do want it. I mean, we could run this. This guy, I think, would be a, a fine. Are you kidding me? This is, this is a shit show of video. Some of these God Event videos have turned into this, where it's just, like, uh, uh, terrible. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I do have an item used. So, here's what we could do, right? I'll do... This. Yeah, with, I've got a Princess Sink active. I'll hit that right there. I'm pretty sure Champa's going to be above 80% HP. Um, Tech Khalifa definitely will make that good, right? She's going to be able to dodge and stuff like that. GT, Gohan, and Goten, as long as they don't go crazy and like triple super, we should be fine here. Gohan and Goten could go nuts right here. Just give me one super attack. I'm begging. Because, like, I really need to get this Majin Vegeta out. Okay, that's fine. Just don't do another super. Okay. I think... Is this 80%? I don't know. Um, here's the thing. Okay. I, I, that's not 80%. Yeah, okay. I'm, dude, the transformation conditions suck for these guys. Ugh. I'm not... <sighs> it's tough, dude. Uh, it's, it's very difficult to transform, right? Like... I mean, if we're running Boo Saga, the problem is we just don't have, like, 
Like, this Majin Vegeta unit is going to be 20 times better next to the GT Dokkan Fest Vegeta, right? They're sharing a lot of links. He's creating rainbow orbs. But at the same time, it's just like we, you do too much damage um, to be able to get to turn three with the boss above 80% HP. Like, he's probably right. Maybe if GT Vegeta didn't crit at the end right there, like, we would have been good. But, like, you know, like, do you have to nerf the entire team just to get Vegeta, like, to turn three where you're... Um, over the 80% HP. I mean, I'll say this. You know, if, if Majin Vegeta is your best character for one of these teams, you're probably going to use a different team in the God Event, right? But, like, he's fine as a floater, right? Like, if we're running this Majin Vegeta as a floating unit right here, I mean, on this turn, he's getting the 40% support from GT Chunks and Goten. I mean, with three orbs, which we'll get easily, and then the super attack effect... I mean, I think on this turn, he's like 230k to 250k, which is good, right? Like, you definitely can use him, but it's like, god damn it, like, what we really want to do with this Vegeta is use Majin Vegeta. Because, right, with Majin Vegeta, if you get the six orbs, he guards in slot one, right? Which can be very good defensively. He's also giving him the 50% defensive buff um, in slot one as well, but, you know, we're going to encounter these types of issues here. I mean, I think Vegeta's going to tank very well on this turn, but you just see where, like, this this type of, of character right here, I, I don't I don't like that transformation condition. I don't, I don't think that's really too good. Both this guy and Super Saiyan 3 Goku are going to have extreme difficulty transforming in here, I think. Um, I don't know if I've ever even gotten them to transform in this event. Again, I don't think it's something we're going to see, like, almost ever. It, it's tough, because, like, the gods, you know, they've got a good amount of health, but not that much health, right? Like, you, I feel like, have to be holding back um, in order to, like, not kill one of these these gods, like, rather quickly here. Okay. Um, we'll do, like, one more turn, and I'll probably finish up. Uh, man. I don't know. I mean, you could see how Vegeta could be good, right? Because, I mean, mine is level 10 links, stuff like that. With this GT Dokkan Fest Vegeta, you definitely can bring type neutral in here, too. Like, there's there's no doubt about that. Um, I don't... You don't want to do GT Goku uh, as a lead type neutral, I'm thinking, unless you're running, like, pretty much a full GT hero team. Like, this team build right here definitely can work, right? Like, if you're, like, a free-to-play player... And, like, Tech Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta is one of your better characters. And you've got, like, the Dokkan Fest GT Vegeta with, like, dupes or something like that. You could definitely run this build. Like, I feel like we've now gone far enough. Like, this Vegeta's stacking his defense, right? That, like, I feel like we are going to get the win. Um, but, like, count relying on the Majin Vegeta aspect of him is probably not... The Ooh, this is bad. This is a bad rotation. Um, relying on the Majin Vegeta aspect is probably not the best idea. We actually, I think we should, we could be okay. Six orbs. I mean, it's just the, these GT Dokkan Fest Vegeta and Goku. They really help all these Vegeta and Goku units out. So there, again, there he takes 35k, but after supering, um, he's only taking um, double digit damage, right? Because he's getting super attack on a super attack effect, as well as getting um, uh, defense. Uh, just from the three orbs on attack as well. And then, right, like, as our health gets lower and lower and lower, um, he is also going to be uh, having access to more defense. So, let me know what you guys thought of him. This Majin Vegeta unit, again, I think expecting the transform into Majin Vegeta is not realistic. I do think this Majin Vegeta is a capable option as, like, a floater in the God event. Um, I, I, th I think if, if you're running him as sort of, like, your, your sixth man on the team... On, like, the Boo Saga team, that could work. Um, or something like that. I, I, I do. Like, I, I don't think this Vegeta is, like, horrible in here or anything like that. Uh, Majin Vegeta is probably not too realistic. Unless you're running, like, a full 55% team. But, I mean, then, like, like I don't know that this, like, this character... Unless you're running Boo Saga, a lot of these teams... Revived Warrior, Pure Saiyan, Vegeta Family, Worthy Rivals, Super Saiyan 2, Kurota Body and Mind, Gifted Warriors... I don't know about running any of those, really, in the God Event. Um, I mean, Gifted Warriors with Trunks and Goten, the thing about them is they need other Trunks and Gotens around, too. Like, that would be a very wonky setup, and they're only on the 130% defensive lead. I mean, obviously, Gifted Warriors can win in here, but Trunks and Goten, they can be caught um, if there's not, like, another Trunks, Kid Trunks or Kid Goten around. 
Um, let me know what you guys think of this Vegeta. I mean, I, this video was certainly a good display of the difficulties he can have, but I, I feel as though he can tank solidly, provided he's super attacking first. Um, but he feels more like a floating unit uh, or a, a, a slot two. See, I don't even know about slot two unit because it's like again, he looks so much better next to the Dokkan Fest GT Vegeta. But that Vegeta has got that he's occupying your slot two. Right, not this guy. So this guy, I think, is probably going to be more of a floater in the God events. Um, and again, I don't like the idea of running him and Goku next to each other because you want to go type neutral in here. Uh, uh, or, ty or excuse me, you want to go type advantage with these units, Goku and Vegeta. You don't want to go type neutral, right? Because uh, Goku or Vegeta gets super attack type neutral, it's death. It's death. Um, if you're Majin Vegeta and you guard, that could work. But, again, I don't know that Majin Vegeta is going to consistently happen. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.